to the Shaker M1 GEO. Looking at a very early prototype of a project of mine, it's going a uh, going a going into a one kilowatt uh, LD MOS two meter amplifier, and it's a, a power and SWR meter. And it's only an early prototype, so don't laugh at it yet. I know the RF construction is very very poor. It's all unscreened, but uh, just sort of give you a quick show of what I'm doing. So, it's using a cheap Chinese Arduino and LCD shield. I'll use something a bit better when I uh, come to it. It's all running from a noisy USB supply from my PC. You can see the keyboard behind it. Um, so I've got uh, four wires coming in, ground and five volt, which I'll explain in a moment. Uh, they're powering an op amp, and uh, the forward and reflected wires. They're going into analogs one and two, uh, which you can see down here. So these two wires here, and these two are power. They're the signals. Okay, it's a really, really crude attempt at screening. It's just some. Um, with a sort of metalized plastic and then this horrific cludge over here so this is a, a, a whiskey six papa queen lima uh, low pass filter and dual directional coupler you can see this bit clearly the low pass filter with the big caps on it and the inductors and then there's a directional coupler here which you can see this is the forward side this top part and the reverse side down here and you can see the pickups along there a bit of strip line as it goes out towards an antenna on the back there so that's the uh, the basic setup Using an ICOM uh, 7100 and uh, solid state uh, amplifier to test, sticking out about 100 watts. Uh, the directional coupler is supplied by uh, uh, W6PQL, makes a negative voltage, so these voltages are, are negative with reference to the, to the ground points. Uh, the op amp takes those, has a gain of minus 10, so the um, inverts the voltage, so instead of being negative, it's positive and multiplies it by 10. And then they need to get fed down to here. So when this is in the amp properly, everything will be um, everything will be uh, in a properly screened metalized boxes. And um, yeah, uh, so that's the, uh, the basic test setup. So fingers crossed if I um, stick out about about 100 watts of, of RF. It's not particularly well calibrated. Just a couple of three or four points I plotted in Excel and uh, just get everything going. The SWR is obviously pretty good, but so. There we go. Um, that's a key down. You can see it's a bit, bit noisy, but 95-ish uh, watts going forward. About nine coming back gives an SWR of about 1.21 to 1. So it's a bit, bit noisy, but uh, there you go. Okay. That's basically all it does. If I sort of wave my hand near it a bit, you'll see the. I can tap the output, and you'll see the SWR go up a bit. So it starts to jump a bit. I put my hand near the uh, directional couplers. So uh, there you go. So that's the uh, reflection of it. That's the project so far. Okay. Um, quite pleased with that. I know it's uh, nothing particularly amazing, but uh, quite uh, quite pleased that it works at all. Um, and. Uh, just shows the uh, SWR of the antenna to be about 1.21 to 1, which is about, about what the radio is showing, 1.2 as well. So um, that's, uh, that's about it. Thanks very much, and uh, catch you further down.